I think it should Over be. there, maybe? Yeah, in that general area. It's one of the most anticipated astronomical events. A maybe over there? The clouds. <sighs> and the clouds rolled in. A little underwhelming, but you know. Seattle. It is Seattle. But even with less than stellar conditions, the courtyard of UW's astronomy department was busy, with people hoping to catch a glimpse of a partial eclipse. I'm involved in a lot of astronomy outreach here, and so it's really, really cool to see this many non-UW students, there's kids, there's older people just coming out to see the eclipse and have some fun with science. This viewer photo from SQUIM shows the partial eclipse in western Washington. The moon covered about 20% of the sun's surface. That's why many Washingtonians traveled to be in the path of totality. I almost was in tears in 2017 the first time I saw it, and this one was no different. Caitlin Mittag Bartos made sure to be in Norwalk, Ohio, to take in the views with her family and friends. It's so indescribable the minute that the moon, you know, totally encapsulates the sun, and you get the dark center basically with just the glow of the sun around it. It just takes your breath away. This event extra special for Caitlin, who's an engineer working on lunar projects for Blue Origin. It's just so cool for me to be able to see these kinds of things, especially when you only get a handful of these, you know, in a lifetime. My guess is behind the pendulum. <laughs> but back at UW, so. the weather is not clouding <laughs> the future. It's really fun seeing all the little kids getting involved. <laughs> see, it's events like this that make new astronomers. Yeah. And make sure you mark your calendars for 20 years, because if you miss this one, the next time there'll be a total solar eclipse spanning from coast to coast will be in August of 2044. For now, live in Seattle, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.